Chris Creek are hiking today in Yellowstone National Park in the canyon area. So we're doing a loop hike, which is 4.7 miles, about two hours long, and it starts at the Wapiti Lake Trailhead. So we've just parked down at the trailhead and walking up now to a meadow. It's really well known for spotting grizzly bears and other wildlife. Um, we're going to hike to two different lakes and then return back here alongside the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone um, and it also takes in Artist Point as well uh, which is a great photo spot here in the park. So the first half a mile out from the Wapiti Lake Trailhead parking lot, you'll climb up into a very open field. So you can see why people have seen wildlife here. I wouldn't say it's like buzzing with wildlife, but if something was here, it'd be quite obvious to see it because it's so flat and so clear. Um, just in the distance, you can already see the walls of the canyon um, over there, which is quite neat. Um, fairly quiet trailhead. There's another couple just behind us, but we haven't seen too many people on the trail so far. Um, but yeah, it's a great hike to get some sun. Um, we burned yesterday when we did uh, the old faithful geysers and stuff. So we both caked on the cream and I've even got sweatpants on today. So yeah, but so far the trail is really open. I definitely recommend bringing water because it's quite exposed. Um, sun cream and layers. The trail um, junction, so the Wapiti Lake Trail does go this way if you want to incorporate all Ribbon Lake and things, but that's going to make the hike much longer. We're heading to Clear Lake, which is this way. So after the climb through the field, you get a little view all the way down to Hayden Valley and you can see all the cars, you know, and the wildlife watchers driving through there. And then we start to descend down and come to a bit more of a forested area. Um, and we've probably been hiking for about a mile so far. So we are now approaching Clear Lake. So Clear Lake is gorgeous, it's nice and peaceful, it stinks of sulphur, um, mm. but there's a lot of reflection on the lake of all of the trees around the lake and things, so yeah, it's very picturesque. So where are we going? So right here on the trail, there's this neat little geyser and it's like bubbling away and yeah, super cool. But to like walk in that and everything, you could probably get burnt. <laughs> yeah, there's de zone. they've definitely put some thought into making sure you don't step into any dodgy areas. Yeah. So you just, we've just come through this like little geyser basin, haven't we? It's just very like chalky and lots of geysers, lots of eggy fart smells. <laughs> and, um, and that's just Rob. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
I've just come to a trailhead and it would seem you might want to go this way, but this will only take you to Ribbon Lake. Um, if you want to go to the canyon, which is what we're doing today, you want to take this side. And there's not actually a sign here to tell you, or at least not the one that we've seen. So just bear that in mind. Yeah, you are right. So this next lake, it's quite small, but it's very pretty. There's loads of lily pads and lots of logs and grass and stuff. Um, it's very quiet though. We've only passed a handful of people on the trail. So if you're hiking alone, I would definitely recommend that you buy some bear spray um, and bring it with you. They do rent it from Canyon, but it's eight bucks a day. And that's if you don't use it. So, which I don't think is bad to put a price on your life. No, but you know. I think if you are planning on hiking like we have for a few days, yeah. just buy a bear spray. We pay $29.99. And the best place to do it, don't buy it in Yellowstone or Grand Teton. Go to a petrol station a little bit further out. We bought it in Rawlins, didn't we? Rawlins, yeah. Wyoming on the way up. And we pay $29.99. That's the cheapest. I've not seen it cheaper than that anywhere. Exactly. It's the exact same one they're selling for 60 bucks in the gift shops here. <laughs> I think we're just heading up to our first spot there of the waterfalls. Is it down here? Well, it's up there, but we're gonna just have a little view off the edge here. Oh Holy whack. Wow, don't get too close. Don't get too close. <laughs> oh, boy, now that's a photo I wanna stand on there. Wow, so this is the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, so it's gonna, it, the falls I think comes this way and down there. You see the North Rim over there, so we'll wave to the folks all over there. What an epic view! This is the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone and it's fucking dope. Just checked out Point Sublime. We're heading back to Arthur's Point. Lily Paz Lake, Ribbon Lake and Wapiti Lake are this way. And we're heading back this way, right along the south rim of the canyon. So what did you think of the view? Amazing. It's just so dope, it's just so like really cool. Like all the red and the yellow and yeah, it's just amazing. We're gonna get a bit closer to the falls now as well so that we can see a bit more of that water, but um, yeah, super impressed. So come on. after you come down from the canyon, where we stopped and had like a little lunch, uh, some of the views, we've come back into a forested area, we've descended down, um, and now we're gonna head back up again. Um, still got Artist Point to go, so we've still got some really big viewpoints to come. And yeah, we've passed a few people on the trail, but it's certainly not been um, a busy trail by any stretch. So 
to what's down there, Rob. That is the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Yeah. Made it. We made it. <laughs> and now we're heading on a much busier South Rim Trail back towards the vehicle. <laughs> So we're now at Artist Point um, parking lot and um, we've got to walk through here to join the trail to go back towards where we were parked. Um, I'm glad that we did a little bit of the hike through the back country because it's so busy here in Artist Point. It's like a queue to pull in and get a picture. You know, it's very hard to get a picture with just really, you and eh? any tickets. What, 45 minutes, 50 minutes? Yeah, it's not a long hike at all. No. Um, so just carry your bear spray and you'll be all good. And bring some water as well. But um, yeah, so we've still got a few viewpoints of the falls which we're going to show you in the video. Um, but the hike was definitely suitable for all fitness types. I think it was really good. You had loads of different landscapes. You had the, the geothermal mud pots, part again. The geysers the and the mud pots. And then open, really open areas. And then it lakes with the clove, uh, you know, the wooded areas. Yeah, and two, two really pretty lakes as well. So yeah, we're just heading back, back now. The Artist Point at Lower Falls. It's followed the trail to South Rim, Uncle Tom's Trail, and Chitterton Bridge. Here we go. So you can see on the map here, we, well, we went all out here, <laughs> and then we joined up here at Artist Point. And we're going to take the South Rim Trail over here and then round to our trailhead. There's quite a bit of up, and then you can, you get another great view looking down on the falls, and then it's back downhill, which is what where we're at now. All the time you've got that roar of the waterfall in the backdrop. If you like this video and you want to see more of the trails here in Yosemite, sorry, here in Yellowstone, I don't know, don't forget to comment below, like and subscribe.